for grade 5. Presence and absence of oxygen. So guys, in this video, we will investigate the changes that happen in materials under the two conditions which are presence or lack of oxygen and application of heat. The materials will need are... So guys, apple, kung wala naman po kayong apple sa bahay, pwede naman po sweet potato or eggplant. So guys, glass. Yan, dalawa po. And chopping board. Okay, so yan. And any vitamin C tablet. So guys, yan. And... 500 ml are two glasses of water. So, ito na po yun, guys. So, may water na po. So, next po ay knife. Label each glass with a marker or write in a paper glass A with water, glass B with vitamin C placed under each glass. This will help you monitor which glass will undergo changes in color in the presence or absence of oxygen. Cut an apple into two slices using a knife in a chopping board. Pure three, four, full of water in each pre-labeled glass. Crush vitamin C tablet. Put it in second glass. Put one slice of apple in each glass. Observe what happened in the materials after 48 hours. 48 hours later. So guys, I'm back! Titingnan po natin ang pagbabago ng apple na nilagay ko po sa glass A with water and glass B with water plus vitamin C. So guys, kukuhanin ko po. So guys, as you can see, naging color brown po yung apple nang nilagay ko po sa glass A with water. Dito naman po guys sa glass B with water plus vitamin C. So guys, as you can see, the apple is still look fresh. Wala pong nagbago sa apple nung nilagay ko po sa glass B with water plus vitamin C. Sige, so yan. Observe the properties of the samples before heating. Crush the materials like crayons and put it in a spoon. Using a lighter, light the candle. And heat the spoon containing the crushed materials. Okay. 
Observe what happened to the light candle. Put off the lighted candle carefully by blowing air on it. Let the heated material stand for 2 to 3 minutes. What happened to the heated materials when they cooled off?